and basically it, it talks about how uh, the Spirit of God says, I am neutering the sitting president, I'm neutering the sitting president in this hour, so as evil and corrupt ideologies and theologies can no longer re reproduce in this country, I call my United States of America. For uh, the man who uh, holds the title of the president of the United States will begin to lose his grip from it and be stripped of it. Now, that's the key words. For I, the Lord God, will rip it from him. This man who calls himself commander or thief is nothing more than a lying, deceitful thief. He's talking about Obama here. And so, because this was in 2015. And it says, the Spirit of God says, time is up for those who are corrupt. For I shall begin to remove those who stand for evil in leadership and stand in the way of my agenda. Judges, senators, congressmen and women of all kinds, even at the local, state, and federal lines. Even the Supreme Court is not immune from their corrupt and evil ways, for I will remove some and expose their backdoor deals which have been at play. For my America has been chosen as a launching platform for my harvest, and she will be a light unto the world once again as I clean up that which is the darkest. Fear not, America. Your greatest days are ahead of you. Arise my army and fight and watch what I will do for you. Now, it talked about in here, this man who holds the title of president of the United States will begin to lose his grip from it and be stripped of it. For I, the Lord God, will rip it from him. And a lot of people thought that meant impeachment. That's not what that meant. That meant that after this man's out of office, he would be uh, charged with treason, and he would end up going to prison for it. Because how do you rip the title of the president from him? There's only one way to do it. That's is if he's charged with treason, and he goes to prison. So Hillary Clinton, Barack Obama, all these people, these judges, senators, congressmen, women of all kinds, it talks right here. You're seeing uh, uh, the indictments is up to what twenty five almost twenty five thousand indictments right now, brother. That's the last number I heard, I saw. Wow. So I mean, yeah, all this stuff is coming to a head now. This is the warning I want to put out to the people. They need to be praying right now because we are coming into a time. This is why the military was critical. This is why the National Guard is critical because when they start handing out the actual arrest warrants and hauling these these big name people off in handcuffs. There could be some civil unrest, and they need to be prepared for it. But I said this on the Jim Baker show. A year and a half ago, I was releasing uh, th these different uh, things that we need to be doing, uh, four different things. And one of them was to start praying because when the arrest warrants get handed out, there could be some civil unrest, and it could get nasty in places. And we could mitigate that as the army of God by praying starting back then, a year and a half ago. But I'm saying now, this stuff is starting to come to a head there have been massive amounts of arrests, but it's been low-level arrests or mid-level arrests that the news media is not reporting on. I, I don't know how many pedophiles have been arrested at this point. Thousands at this point have been arrested globally. So, But this is going to go global, brother, uh, literally. Th this, this stuff is so deep. It's so entrenched. It's so the, – the depth and the breadth of this thing is so big it's going to blow people's minds. This is going to be going on for years. And there will be, you know, I said that uh, right after when Donald Trump got elected, the Lord was telling me there will be military-style tribunals that, that are coming. And so uh, people laughed at me about that. And it's like now he just signed an executive order talking about military tribunals. They've called back a 1,000 officers. A lot of people thought that was for training. Some of that probably was. But it was also, I believe, uh, because I've had some military guys tell me that it could be that they sit officers on those tribunals. That's why they were calling them back. So this thing's going to happen. It's just we have to be patient. We've got to put our seatbelts on, strap in, because this is going to be a wild ride, and it's going to be a while before well, this stuff going on. But these military-style tribunals will make Nuremberg look like a cakewalk. So those are coming, and God is exposing the corruption. He's taking it down globally. And I'll go into this next prophetic word here in just a second if you've got something you want to say. Uh, I want you to go into that, and I also want you to tell us during this program what are the other three things that we need to be doing. Continue on. Well, uh, the, the, well, it was those, I, I don't even remember what they were, honestly. It's just, the, I, I released four things that we needed to be doing. And, but the third thing was that, uh, with the, with the, um, uh, the riots that could possibly take place that we need to be praying to mitigate that right now. So the people just need to be praying right now because there is a true battle on for America right now. They're trying to take America down because they know that we are the ones standing in the way of Israel. And that Trump prophecy I prophesied in 2011 wow. uh, when he would become president, it said that the, the um, relationship between America and Israel will be the strongest it's ever been. You're seeing that coming to pass right now. It is making people angry that we have this uh, relationship with Israel right now. They know they can't take Israel right now with America standing in the way. Now, uh, do they need America to protect Israel? No, because God's protecting Israel. But the, to the rest of the world, they know America standing in the way, and they know America standing in the way of the globalists right now. They want 
free uh, open borders, free flow of people and product right now because that's what the globalists want. And it's not going to happen for here in America. The, the God has his hand on America. So uh, the other thing that the uh, corruption, uh, and this one's going to sting a little bit. And I'll explain a little bit about this after I read it. And I wrote this January 25th, 2018. And it says, it's called All Roads Lead to Rome. And it says, the Spirit of God says, the Pope and the Vatican, that's right, the Pope and the Vatican are not furthering my kingdom, but are aiding the kingdom of darkness. Many are saying that this is the last Pope, but it's not for the reasons they think. This will be the last Pope for what I, the Lord God, am about to do. I will expose this Pope and all those under his command for all the corruption he and the Vatican have been involved in for centuries. The Spirit of God says, there is a shaking and a quaking coming to this pope and the Vatican, for I will split the Vatican and its leadership wide open for the entire world to see the inner workings of this ancient beast. This pope, the Vatican, and all its leadership will come crumbling down. I will pull back the veil to show how deep and dark the deception has been. You whisper in your inner chambers. We answer to no one. No one is above us. No one can hold us accountable. I, the Lord God, see it all. And the time has come when I will now hold you accountable for your darkness. This exposure will be of such magnitude that the people will say, what do we do now? Where do we go now? We want nothing to do with this. We have no religion now. Millions will walk away from their religion as this will affect other religions as well. The Spirit of God says, is my army ready? Are you ready to receive these people? Are you ready to receive my harvest that's going to take place from this exposure? Prepare yourselves for the tsunami of people that will be starving for me and have no place to turn. Prepare now. All roads lead to Rome. The Spirit of God says there is a dig, an archaeological find that is coming in an underground vault, which will be so cataclysmic that it will rock the Christian world. The answer lies between Jerusalem and Vatican City. This video belongs to LordsProphecy.com. Please visit our website for more update. LordsProphecy.com. Spelling L O R D S Prophecy.com. Thanks for your support. Wow. Yeah. This 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 is the big one. And the corruption, this is what I was saying earlier. This corruption goes global. And I want the first thing I want to explain to the people is that this is not an attack on Catholics. So please don't think that. What God is doing here, He's performing a rescue mission, brother. He is literally exposing the deception, the corruption, the control that has been uh, the manipulation that has been coming from the Vatican over the people that has had this spiritual blindness and deafness over the people where they haven't been able to see, but it's also been hidden from the people. So God's about to expose all of this stuff with the Pope and the Vatican, and millions are going to walk away. This is going to affect other religions as well. So, I mean, we need to be prepared right now for the tsunami of people, the harvest that's going to be, because these people are going to say, where do we go? They're going to be some hurt people, brother. I mean, deeply hurt people, because yes. you got to remember, even in the Catholic uh, uh, denomination or religion, whatever you want to call it, these people have been there for uh, generations, probably some of them, and they've been yes. following this. So they're going to be hurt, man, when this comes out. So we need to be prepared to receive these people. But this is not just going to affect the Catholics. This is what I want people to understand. This is a rescue mission. This is exposing and bringing truth to light, basically. This is going to affect Baptists, uh, Methodists, Lutherans, it's going to, Assemblies of God. I don't care who you are. This is going to affect everyone, and this – Dig this archaeological find that is coming in an underground vault, which will be so cataclysmic that it will rock the Christian world. The answer lies between Jerusalem and Vatican City. I want to address that for a second because people ask me, what is it? What is it? You know, what do you think it is? Is it the Ark of the Covenant? I don't know. God has not shown me what it is. Again, the, the prophetic word, the words are mysteries. You know, the Bible talks about it's a matter of kings to search a matter out. Well, it's up to us to search it out. Well, is that... Uh, a searchable matter. I don't know. This is something that could come to pass. People ask me, could it be the ark? I don't know. It could be relics, but I can tell you what I sense. I'm not prophesying this. Let me just tell you what I'm sensing with my discernment, what this is going to be. This is going to be something that's going to be, uh, it could be relics. It could be, a. I think it's going to be a multi-tiered, multi-leveled thing that's, that's going to be uh, coming. 
I think it's going to be scrolls. I think it's going to be manuscripts. I think it could be lost books of the Bible that were supposed to be included, but were not. I think it's going to be maybe some things, brother, that uh, uh, doctrine or theology that we've been told that was correct that may not be correct. Um, it's going to be stuff that will uh, – it's just going to rock our world, man. It's just going to set things uh, to show how the deception has been so great for the over the centuries that uh, Rome has been in charge of, the Vatican has been in charge of, and God's just going to blow the lid off of all of it. And this is something that we need to be prepared as believers because the church is not prepared, brother. They're not prepared to handle this. No. They're really not. And, and the army of God needs to be prepared because 